<laughs> How's it guys? Welcome to my home studio. My name is Kelly and on my channel I like to share planner videos, art videos, crafts, recipes, DIYs, mixed media, happy mail and hauls, fountain pens and fountain pen ink. And sometimes I will throw in a lifestyle video. So if any of those genres sound appealing to you, feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe as it were. And without further ado, I have a haul from um, Cult Pens and Jet Pens. And I have I got free shipping on both orders. Free shipping is now, if you buy $35 at Jet Pens, as opposed to what it was before, which was $25, you get free shipping. And these two are from there. I bought some other things. That's why um, it's free shipping. And then I got these three from Club Pens. And I got free shipping because I bought other things as well. So what I thought I would do is just show you each one. And I'm not going to ink up a pen in this video. But I can show you a swatch. Not my usual swatch. Um, this is just because I want to play with this ink right now. <laughs> and so these were my ink up notebook and this was my ink up notebook and this was going to be for my swatch, um, my ink swatches. And I decided I wanted to use the Enigma instead. I love, 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 love. The Enigma. <laughs> um, so I've since switched my system over to show you. I just have it in a Foxy fix. So two notebooks actually fit in here. What did I do with the other one? It's hiding somewhere. Oh, it's in this one. This is my ink swatching one. As you can see. And I have an MD vinyl cover on this. Enigma because I'm in and out of this a lot and it just makes it for easier cleanup you know so I like this paper because it's thicker um 60 I think it's 60 GSM and the other is 52 GSM I want to say um but anyway so this is my currently inked and that's my ink swatch and they both can fit in this but I just have it in that one for right now. I switch things up all the time. You know? I'm sure you guys know what I mean. But I originally started off with the Hobonichi notebooks. And I just... This is my search and collect from Hobonichi that I bought for this year. I've already since done my haul from Hobonichi. But anyway, the paper is thinner, and I messed this up when I, can you see that? I have stamps, the shape of fountain pens and fountain pen ink bottles, so I had messed this up, and I thought I was okay with it, but I did all this too, and so I just decided to use this notebook for basically pen swatches of sorts. And so I have some space here. So what uh, I think I'll just pull out a couple of Q-tips. I reconfigured the way I have my setup right here. I have Michael's cubes, and these fit. These are sugar bowl, um, sugar packet or stevia packet holders from the container store. So <laughs> I'm just using those because I can fit four of them perfectly in my setup here. For convenience so I can just grab and go I have adhesive I have um, correction tape stamping little stamping things etc so I'll just pull those and let's see what these look like so here is the carbon ink made by I don't have my specs on platinum and this was less expensive um, on Cult Pen, so I went for it. Plus, I got a discount because they were having that sale. Um, I think they called it Panorama or something. 
um, you get 60 cc's. CCs and MLs are interchangeable, so I'm in the medical field, I would know. Trust me. Anyway, so I can actually use this ink at work if it is, in fact, waterproof. Oh, look, it even has one of those little... I like when they do that, so you can't drop anything in and lose it forever. If you know what I mean. It has one of those dipper beaks or whatever. I don't know what the term as I'm sure someone will correct me but that's cool really cool so let's just see what this looks like let's just I want to use up my paper why not start up at the top oh that's nice Look at that. Mmm. I like it. Look at that. It's a nice deep and dark color. I like it. All right. So. Uh, the carbon black and mm, let's just do a little thing because why not I'm here you're here taking your time to watch should we do with a syringe I just have a TV syringe here 1ml syringe. Let me dip in some water and see if it's really waterproof. Okay. Let's just test that out. Since I need to know that. That part is dry already. That is not. That is not. And that was really heavy handed. So it is not. But this is so let's just see okay that's biased because there's some something another color right underneath there that part's not dry there you go all right so we're gonna let this do its thing and see if it's really waterproof or what Okay. Now, I'm pretty much an expert at this. So if you're, and you, for home purposes only, of course you can reuse the syringe for what we're using it for here, with the, which is our fountain pens. But if you use a syringe like this, you want to take it apart because you want it to dry and it will get moldy in there if you don't. So... That's just a little tip. I mean, it makes sense, but you wouldn't believe how many people do that. <sighs> okay, so that's the carbon black. Now let's go into this diamine, which is emerald. And I'm not dispensing any medical advice on my channel whatsoever. This is just my humble opinion. Okay, this is not shimmery, like the Diamine Shimmer line, so I'm just tilting the bottle. Uh, just to get any sediment, if it, if there is any. Woo! Look at that. It's like Wizard of Oz, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm partial to green. I like green just do all right oh my look at that beautiful color I'm double dipping Eww. see how dark it can get 
Ooh, la la, mochetti. Nice. Okay, that's a nice color. Look at that. I like it. Um, I need a piece of my handy dandy scrap paper, which you can't see because I'm in my drawer and I have scratch paper in my little container store set up. And I'm going to fold this over once. This itty bitty. I cut these up because if I'm printing something and I have a mistake, I use it. I use the paper. Of course I do. They come from trees, people. Okay, so that's my scratch paper. But I don't want it on my surface, my table surface, so. Because I don't want to clean. You know what I mean? Okay, so that's emerald. Ready. Next up, we have evergreen. Oh my goodness. I'm obsessed. And I haven't even seen this yet. On tight. Oh wow, inside there? I would have figured that the emerald one looked like that on the side lid, on the inner part of the lid. Oh, oh. Colors just surprise me sometimes, huh? I do not want to get any ink on my tweed cover, I'll tell you that much. Because it was expensive. It's gorgeous. Oh. Oh, beauty. I can't even stand it. Let's just make a little tree because I cannot help myself. Oh. It's a nice color. It's very nice. I hope you can see that. Beautiful, right? Look at that right there. That's lovely. It has more blue in there than I had anticipated. But it certainly is a nice color. Wow, I'm glad I got both. This, I expected this one to look more like this one, at least in the bottle. But as it dries, look how pretty that is. It's just amazing. Okay, now I do have a Diatramentus. Um, okay. okay, you're going to have to brace yourself for this, really, because this is fantastic. This is a pearlescent kind. I got only got two. I, you know, controlled myself because I love anything glittery and shimmery in the ink. I have the whole Diamine Shimmer line. I love it. So... They even have two different versions of the pearlescent. They have it in the gold version, like whatever color it is, plus the gold version, and then whatever color it is with the silver version. So this one is the Atramentus Pearlescent Ink. What is it? Heliogen Green Gold version. You get 35 mLs in this. Sorry, this is huge. You get 80 ml in the diamine. And yes, I said the 60 ml, which they have CC written on this bottle um, for that. But look at this. Oh my goodness. Can you 
You see that mixing? <gasps> Lord. Oh, I can't control myself. Look how this dried the screen. Oh, and the screen. Beautiful, both of them. I should have just inked up or did my swatch and ink test, but I'll do that later. I just wanted to get into this because I've been filming quite a bit and I have quite a bit of other stuff to do aside from that. Ooh, this is a nice bottle. Listen to that. Sweet. I love that. Okay, the other side of the Q-tip. <gasps> oh, look at that. Are you for real? You're kidding me, right? <gasps> I'm going to put the lid on this because I'm just going gaga over this. Wow. I love it. This is beautiful. Wow. Wow. That is so nice. Oh my lord. Look at this evergreen, how it's drying. We're, I'm going to do a close-up in a minute. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, your pretty little heart. Okay, and the next Diatromus Pearlescent Ink Whiskey Brown Gold Version 35 ml. Oh, look at it. Look at it mixing, you guys. <gasps> look at it mixing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's nice. Okay, I'm going to go over here with this one. Um, Maybe I'm not, but I'm going to. And I'm mixing the daylights out of this. Let me just do a thing. Because... I don't want to make a huge mess. So I'm going to get out... Um, a couple pieces of paper. I don't want it off staining my book here. Because we're walking on the wild side now. <laughs> And we're going to go over here, so there's no cover. The cover is inside. Okay, so here it is. Oh, baby, you're on tight. Again with that beautiful lid. Good job on that. Just a quick little dip in the pool. This is so nice. Are you kidding me? This is so nice. I like it. Mm, mm, mm. And how. Okay, so let's take a little look. This is the carbon black. And I wrote it in. Made by Platinum. It is waterproof. There it is. Nice. Very nice. Very economical. So I'm liking that. And then we have the Diamine Emerald. Very beautiful. Look at that. It's all these lines. That's nice. And then you have, I have the Diamine Evergreen, which, where is this line? Oh, wow. That has, as you can see from this, that's why you use Tomoe River Paper to do your swatches, I'll tell you what. But it picks up this beautiful sheen of not only a blue, but a black in there as well. And a little bit of a bronze, as you can see here on the tree. And the squiggly line is the evergreen, too. Stunning. Then we have the Diatromus, Diatromus Pearlescent Heliogen 
green slash gold and that is lovely that's a lovely green gold wow very shimmery it's this little bit and then over here we have the diatramentus i hope you can see this the diatramentus pearlescent whiskey brown slash gold and this squiggly line is it it looks even comes off um depend this was a very saturated swab there that i did so it comes off a little orangey even brown orangey yellow has a beautiful beautiful glistening sheen on it so nice so I like these colors, you guys. What else is new? So there you have it. That's a quick little look. And I will swatch these and make my swatch cards. Um, so I'm happy with these. I'm a little bit obsessed with the pearlescence. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> not that I lie ever anyway. I know, I'm a truth teller. I always have been. Anyway, so I like them all. So if I had to pick just one, number one, I would have to pick the carbon black just for pr practicality because it is waterproof and I would use that the most. Now, if I was picking a color, oh, this is very difficult for me very very difficult indeed with these choices because i picked like my favorite ones out of the bunch that i at least perused at because i you know i could buy the whole line of everything right and so could you i'm very sure of that so hmm hmm let's see this evergreen Oh, I'm obsessed. But these two are also very beautiful. The Whiskey Brown and the Halogen Green. I would have to... I don't know. Probably between these two. I'm going to go with the Diamine Evergreen. That is my tippy top favorite pick if I could only have one out of all of these. Well, Carbon Black... And then out of the colors, I would go with the evergreen. So what's your pick, guys? Which one would you not be able to live without? <laughs> I would love to know if you care to share. And that, my friends, is this entire haul. So if you liked what you saw, feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I bid you adieu. Peace out.